Carrier Mediated Transport The characteristics of carrier mediated transport are Stereospecificity of carrier proteins The carrier protein recognizes only one isomer of a substance. Competition for carrier binding sites Substances that have similar structures compete to bind to the carrier protein. Saturation with carrier proteins Transport maximum occurs when all the transport binding sites for a particular substance are occupied. Due to this, the substance cannot bind to its carrier and therefore it does not pass through the membrane. Facilitated transport This does not require metabolic energy and occurs down an electrochemical gradient. The transport stops when the carrier molecules become saturated or when the concentration of the substance inside the cell becomes equal to the extracellular concentration. Active transport It is the transport of a substance against its electrochemical gradient. Hydrolysis of ATP is required to power this process. Primary active transport it is the transport of a substance across the cell membrane which is directly coupled to ATP hydrolysis. Examples are sodium-potassium ATPase pump in the cell membrane which pumps 2 potassium inside the cell and 3 sodium outside the cell for each ATP consumed and calcium ATPase pump in the muscle cells which removes calcium from the cell into the extracellular space at the expense of ATP hydrolysis during muscle relaxation. Secondary active transport Movement of two substances across the plasma membrane simultaneously which is indirectly coupled to ATP hydrolysis. Symport Also known as co-transport both substances move in the same direction, for example, sodium and glucose in the proximal tubule of the kidney. Antiport, also known as counter-transport. Both substances move in opposite directions. For example, in the heart muscle cells, the sodium and calcium counter-transporter moves calcium against its concentration gradient as sodium moves down its concentration gradient.